Hi, welcome to the Finding Articles Using OneSearch tutorial from Texas A&M University Commerce Libraries. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to find scholarly and peer-reviewed journal articles using OneSearch. In the OneSearch box, where it says Search All Library Resources, type the topic you are looking for. For this example, we are going to search for superheroes and gender. Then we are going to hit the blue search button. There are 556 results that match our keywords. The thing to remember about OneSearch is that it searches across all the information that the library has immediate access to. If you click on resource type, you can see all the different types of sources that are represented in your search results. Your results include a mix of books, newspaper articles, book chapters, reference entries, videos, and web resources. Since this tutorial focuses on locating scholarly and peer-reviewed journals, we are going to scroll up and look under availability instead of resource type. Under availability, select the peer-reviewed journals filter. This narrows our results to 146 items from scholarly and peer-reviewed journals. Next, we will look at publication date. To filter by date, simply enter the date range you are looking for. For example, we can enter 2015 as our beginning date and then leave the ending date at 2022. Once we hit refine, our results are going to change, limiting our results to 91. If we continue to look at our filter bar, we can scroll down to subject, and this is one of the most precise ways you can filter your search results. In library lingo, a subject term is controlled or standardized vocabulary that describes the main idea of a piece of information. In this case, the articles that we are looking for. Another way to think of a subject term is like a hashtag. For example, if you are on TikTok and you do a search for hashtag Supergirl, it is only going to show you TikToks with that hashtag in them. It's a very quick way of narrowing to a specific type of TikTok video. This is the same concept, only much more controlled because subject terms are not randomly assigned to articles in the databases. Librarians assign subject terms to articles based on a ranking system to ensure that the content matches the subject term. So by clicking on gender, we are telling OneSearch that we want articles where gender is the dominant theme. If I go back to subject, you can choose more than one subject to narrow your results, or you can also exclude terms by clicking on the red box. For example, let's say that we did not want our search to cover film, radio, and television. By clicking on the red box, this excludes those terms from our search results. We now have 35 results related to superheroes and gender, with the main idea of the article being gender, but excluding film, radio, and television. Now that we have narrowed our search, let's take a closer look at our search results. If we click on the title of an article, it will take us to what's called the article record, which will show us information about the article, including the abstract if it is available. In this case, it is called a description. It also includes additional subject terms, which are more specific than the subject terms that we looked at on the previous page. By analyzing the subject terms, you can see if there is a term that most closely examples the information you are looking for. For example, as we go through the list, we see the term gender stereotypes. This might be a term that we had not considered as a keyword. We could add it to our keyword list, or we could right click and open it in a new tab. This will initiate a new OneSearch query and it will replace our keywords of superhero and gender and replace it with the more exact subject search of gender stereotyping. You will notice that it does not retain our filters. So you will have to once more go through and select peer-reviewed journals or any other filters such as publication date or subject that you had set. If we scroll back up and click search criteria, we can enter additional keywords to refine our results. If we go back to our original tab, which is still open at the top of our browser, 
we can scroll back up to look at additional resources available in the article record. If you click on Download PDF, that will open a new tab and it will show you the full text of the article that you can then print or save to your computer. You will also see something that says permalink. Permalink is another helpful feature that will always take you back to this record in OneSearch. For example, if I copied this permalink for an article, then pasted it into another window, it will take me back to that record and I can once again find that article. The email tool allows you to send a link of this record to yourself or someone else. You will notice that there is also a citation feature. This is a nice tool, but always double check your citation against your citation style manual to make sure it is correct. This concludes our finding articles using OneSearch tutorial. If you have any questions or need research help, please ask us. We're always happy to help.